Good day everyone. Today I got Galaxy A51. This is Galaxy A51 4G. Galaxy A51 model number is A515F. You can see that One UI 5.21 and white version 13 and the kernel version and the build number if you can see that those who have Galaxy A51 4G and uh, they want to flash the custom ported ROM One UI 7 having the one, uh, Galaxy AI features having One UI 7 features on the Galaxy A51 then watch the further video if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet tap or click the subscribe button click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so this is basically the x rom ported from the s23 fe version 15 for the galaxy a51 let me remind you once again a51 4g only we have to download the TWRP, particular this TWRP version, which is also having a patch VB meta. Yes, we have to download Odin and the multi disabler Samsung 3.1.3. .3. In case if you do not have the Samsung Android USB driver, then download the Samsung Android USB driver and install it on your Windows. So the mobile phone will get detected by the Windows after booting to any mode first of all extract the odin in same folder then open the extracted folder of the odin and double click odin to open it click ok and on odin click any slot i will go for ap slot then i will go to my downloaded folder and i will select the twrp for the a51 4g by double clicking this file Odin is almost ready. Coming back towards the mobile phone. We have to do few steps before flashing the custom ROM. First of all, you need to check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged. In case if the battery is below 30, then make it charge. Then you need to save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, data will get formatted. Connect internet on your mobile phone. Turn off the screen lock by selecting swipe. In case if you are having Samsung account, sync it and then must remove it. Otherwise, the recovery will not get flash. Sync your Google account also, then must remove it to avoid issues. Tap the software update and uh, check the software update by tapping the download and install. In my case, my mobile phone is having up to date software. Go back to settings, then tap about phone, tap software information, tap the build number for seven times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Developer mode has been turned on. Go back to settings, then scroll down, tap the developer options, and turn on the OEM unlocking. Must turn it on. Tap enable. Now the OEM unlocking is turned on. And simply power off the mobile phone. Use a good quality of data cable and check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. Check the mobile phone must be power off and properly and totally power off. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. You will see a warning screen. Then immediately release both keys. On the warning screen, press and hold the volume up key for a little long. When you see another screen, then release it. Now uh, here the screen is unlock bootloader. On this screen, press the volume up key once to unlock the bootloader. Let me re let me tell you that when I after pressing the volume up key, the mobile phone will unlock the bootloader and then it will restart. And then I will immediately press and hold the volume up key, volume down key to let the mobile phone boot into warning screen once again. Pressing the volume up key once. Then immediately press and hold the volume up key, volume down key to boot the phone into warning screen. The bootloader is now unlocked. Press the volume up key once on the warning screen to boot the phone into Odin mode. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. The phone is connected with computer. Boot it into Odin mode. Odin already detected the mobile phone. On Odin, click options, untick the auto reboot, go back to lock, then Click start to start flashing the recovery. 
when you see pass message means done click reset and click exit go back to download it folder the mobile phone must be booted still into odin mode now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the odin mode check the cable must be connected press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key keep it press hold it press when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first when you see samsung logo release the power key after 5 seconds release the volume up key the phone will boot into twrp and my mobile phone was having on stock firmware that is why the recovery screen appears it did some erasing thing then it restart it will restart maybe once or twice and then finally it will boot into twrp once again because my mobile phone was having a lock boot loader that is why but in case if your mobile phone is having a custom rom then this thing will not happen with your mobile phone well my mobile phone is actually uh, on boot loop uh, it is not booting into twrp automatically while well, the recovery is flash now i will try to boot the phone forcefully into twrp i will repeat the procedure by pressing the volume up key volume down key and power key press and hold the volume up key volume down key release the volume down key then release the power key hold the volume up key do not release it until twrp screen appears then release the volume up key and finally the recovery got back first of all tap wipe then tap format data y e s tap here when done then go back to main screen and tap reboot and tap recovery so the recovery screen got appears once again and the internal storage will get appears on the computer screen and in a proper format go back to download it folder and copy the multi disable file from the downloaded folder go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone done then tap install select the file that i just copied by tapping on it and swipe when done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery once again tap wipe and tap format data type y e s tap here when it is done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery internal storage got appears once again i will go back to my downloaded folder and this time i will copy the rom file then i will go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone and i will paste the file so the rom file got copied on my internal storage of my mobile phone right now i am done from the computer i will disconnect the cable from the mobile phone unlocking the screen of the twrp then in tap install tap to select the rom file and then swipe to start flashing it the flashing will take a time but you need to keep your eyes on the mobile phone screen do not let the mobile phone screen to turn off like after few seconds just tap the screen finally flushing completed now tap wipe cache dalvik swipe when done then tap reboot system The mobile phone will stay little long on this Samsung logo then it will start booting to the ported ROM of the One UI 7 Android 15. Well, 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 One UI 7 setup screen finally appears on the Galaxy A51 4G mobile phone which was not expecting that the a51 will get one ui7 thanks to the developer i will complete the setup screen rom got flash very smoothly 
the new control center on the Galaxy A51. According to the developer, only NFC is not working with the ROM. Other than that, all the stuffs are working. I will go to settings. Galaxy AI came on these settings. Now I will boot the phones. Then I will go to about phone. Well, the model number got changed because the uh, ROM ported from the S23 FE. Galaxy A51 and I will tap the software information. So this is now I got on my mobile phone. The Galaxy A51 4G got updated from the One UI 5.21 to One UI 7.0 Android 15. Google Play System update is 1st Feb 2025. Beast Band version provided. Build number if you can see that xrom version 15 take a good care of yourself do not forget to like the video i will see you in my next video until then goodbye